guys, it's Allie. I hope that you all had a really awesome holiday. Um, and basically tonight what I'll be doing is uh, an update video. Um, in addition to my other ASMR videos, what I would like to do is um, present a weekly update video where I um, discuss what's going on in my life that week and also what videos you can look forward to from me uh, that coming week and um, recommendations for other videos that I've enjoyed lately. Um, so tonight's update video will be the first in that installment and I'll start out by showing you some items that I got over my Christmas holiday that are pretty cool and, um, you know, telling you just what's been going on in my life recently that's been keeping me so busy. And, um, also, I'm gonna wrap up by telling you about some requests that I have received lately that I'll be knocking out pretty soon. So, the first item that I want to show you is this card game. Um, I received this as a Christmas present from a friend and um, if you haven't heard of it, it's gotten really popular recently um, But it's called Cards Against Humanity and basically it's just a really um, Kind of offensive raunchy card game. That's a lot of fun to play And I'll show you sides of the box before I open it, but it's called, I don't know if you can read this, it's called Cards Against Humanity, a party game for horrible people. Um, it is for ages 17 and up, um, and that's a pretty appropriate um, age restriction if you've ever played this game. Um, on the box it tells you it takes about 30 to 90 minutes to play a game and then it's a game for um, 4 to 20 up players so four, 4 players and up so this is not a two person game you need teams basically well not teams, it's not really a team game you need more than two people and here's the back and it kind of just describes the game a little bit. Um, I'll read you the description because it's it describes it well. It says the game is simple. Each round one player asks a question from a black card and the other players answer with their funniest white card. So one example is Okay, so here's the black card right here. And the black card says, During sex, I like to think about blank. And so all the other players would put down um, their funniest white card. It's basically like apples to apples, but, but more offensive. So uh, it says, During sex, I like to think about... And then the three white cards here are, say, Sarah Palin homeless people and goblins. So the person who put down the black card would choose which white card was the funniest to them and that person, the person who played that card would, um, I guess, win that round, basically. And we tried to play this game with my boyfriend's family on Christmas Eve. of his family were offended by it, but it's a lot of fun to play. So I'll just open it up and show you the cards. Um, this is the little instruction manual. It's pretty basic. It's just one little 
own little booklet. And there's different variations to, to play, um, or to the gameplay, and, you know, different little challenges you can do. examples from the deck for you. Let's see, they all say uh, cards against humanity. So one player would read out the black card. This one has a question on it that says, what are my parents hiding from me? or most appropriate uh, response to the question. So I'm trying to find one that, <laughs> that I think I would put down if I were playing. really funny. <laughs> so if I were playing this game, I would put down this card. I don't know if you can see it. It says the rapture. So that's the basic concept. This card says boogers. sure what the cost of this game was, because it was a gift, but um, I'm thinking that you can probably purchase it at www.cardsagainsthumanity.com. I promise I don't work for that company, but I would definitely recommend playing this game because it's really fun.
Christmas gift from my boyfriend's aunt. herself. Um, and I think everybody uh, everybody got a, a different painting from her so she was she was very busy this holiday season uh, painting these beautiful works of art. And this is just a unique one-of-a-kind piece. And um, she lives out in the country and all of her paintings are done from life, so at some point she was looking at this exact scene somewhere. Um, and so she, she painted it, and I think it's beautiful. We haven't um, found a good place to display it yet. My favorite part is this little streak of lightning right here in the distance. It looks so... I don't know, it looks realistic, but also kind of dreamlike, which I like. And I think she did a really beautiful job with the, the stormy sky. dark and ominous over here, and a little bit lighter, like it was a sunny day, but then the storm just started sweeping in and taking over, and the detail is really wonderful too, there's a little fence uh, right next to what looks like a barn red barn. And I think the, the wheat fields look really beautiful as well. Um, but I don't know exactly what she painted this from. If she was, if this is her house maybe, or um, just some place that she knows of. framed in this really beautiful kind of metallic looking picture frame. I really like it a lot. One thing that we noticed when she first gave it to us was that it was kind of reminiscent of uh, The Wizard of Oz. farm in Kansas, and obviously there's a big storm in the Wizard of Oz, a big twister. So it's kind of like that. And that's what it made me think of. And there's no uh, glass over this or anything, it's just paint on canvas. Ooh, I like to feel the dried paint. It's kind of scratchy and smooth. You can see it very well.
those were some um, highlights of the gifts we received this Christmas. Those are some of my favorites. Um, so just moving on with um, my updates. Um, I recently got a new job been really exciting. Um, I haven't been there very long, but it did take up quite a bit of my time when I first started. Um, I'm very excited about it, um, but it has kept me very busy, definitely. And um, so that's been the most holidays were, of course, insane, like they always are, but also uh, one of my best friends is getting married in a couple of weeks. So this weekend, this past weekend, was her bachelorette weekend. So I spent a lot of time um, working with our other good friend to plan her bachelorette party, and I hosted it here at my apartment. video with ASMR Arred and Silent Citadel. Uh, they did, they collaborated somehow. I don't know if they are friends um, outside of the ASMR community or if they just met up to do this collab or what, but um, it was amazing. It was so good. recommend that to everyone and just try it out and see if you get tingles from it because I got crazy tingles. It was really great so um, that's I guess my recommendation of the week. Um, so as far as what you can expect from me in the coming days, um, basically what I want to focus on more with my channel um, is really immersing you guys in the experience of my role plays especially. So I'm going to be, um, I'll be honoring a request that I've gotten a lot of, um, which is to do a spa role play. So I'll be doing that. Um, however, um, like I said, I want to be focusing more on, um, really intense, um, immersion in my role plays, so I'm going to be doing something pretty special with, um, those spa role, the spa role play videos, um, that you're not going to want to miss. already subscribed, definitely don't forget to do that. Um, so that once that video is out, you'll be notified about it. Um, and on that note, I also just want to say to those of you that have subscribed and have been leaving me such kind, um, helpful feedback um, that I'm so grateful. And it's just it's just overwhelming the, um, the support that I've been getting on my channel and I'm, 
I just feel honored that you guys are um, enjoying my channel so much and um, yeah, I appreciate all of the, the likes and the comments and the subs um, especially on my most recent video, the eye exam um, that got a really, really positive response and so I just wanted to thank you guys for everything Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, do leave me any um, suggestions or feedback that you have. And um, as always, um, uh, message me with any requests that you have, and I will try and make it happen. So I hope that everyone has a very happy very safe new year. Um, don't drink and drive. And uh, stay tuned uh, for a video from me later this week. <laughs>